The gate swings off the turn into the stretch. Big favorite here, two to five on five. War we Vicky, Vicky, the undefeated royalty for life, Philly. Here they come. Off and trotting annual royalty made a break just as the gate got away. Good beginning in the center. Jasmine Volo fires out. So too does Intense Justice. Now Warwi Vicky. She wants to speed out of there. And she literally tugs Philly onto the front. And there goes Warwi Vicky right to the early lead. In at the railway second came Jasmine Volo. Backed off into third. There's Intense Justice Vanderkamp. Just spoiled that trip there as Ride to Justice made a break and Stride the Trotter spoiled it. Ride to Justice off stride in the safety lane. The opening quarter in 28 and 3. Three. So on that lead as they go into the back stretch, a very pumped up Warwi Vicky as she's clear by three open lengths. Back into second, Jasmine Volo. Intense Justice is third. Goddess DeV from in fourth now, fifth inside Tallahassee Sealster. Getting underway from in six starts up. PL not so nice. Going to be followed by Wine Rack Hanover on the way to the midway point. So race leader is Warwi Vicky as she leads the way by three open lengths. Back in second, Jasmine Volo. Intense Justice about to rally out side third half and 58 and four a second quarter of 30 and one Heading into the final turn. Race leader remains Warwi Vicky. Right there in that pocket position is still Jasmine Volo. Off stride. PL not so nice. Was in a great striking spot but rolled off stride. They go to three quarters. Warwi Vicky clear by a pair of lengths. Back into second now. Intense Justice closing up that gap. Backing away from in third is Jasmine Volo. Fourth outside to Wine Rack Hanover. Through at the rail. Off stride again. Goddess to V. Up and around her goes Tallahassee Sealster. Three quarters. 127 and three. A 28 and fourth third quarter and into the stretch Warwi Vicky leads the way Filion calls on her as Intense Justice is on the outside trying to get her Intense Justice rallies hard for Christophe Roux and strikes the front now Warwi Vicky is back into second she'll taste defeat for the first time at the hands or in this case hooves of Intense Justice Intense Justice by a length and a half Warwi Vicky was second a late rallying wine rack Hanover third over Tallahassee Sealster in 156 and Four. Intense Justice captures the third and final OSS gold for these rookie trotting fillies. Chris Christophe Rue, the one that engineered it. Uh, I'll ask you first, Chris, what gave you the confidence that you could flip the script on the undefeated Warwi Vicky? I just thought she was getting sharper and sharper every every race, and uh, she was a real handful tonight behind the gate. I knew she was feeling good, and uh, I was lucky. I almost lost her a couple of times. She was so bouncy and throwing her head around and just feeling so good, you know. And uh, I wanted to sit in the tool, but uh, it worked out. I got away third. She raced good, though. Now, I mean, Warwi Vicky still looked pretty pumped up on the front. She got a bit of a breather there in the second quarter. Turning for home, did you think, you know what, I, I, I can reach this filly? Yeah, I, I thought if I could stay with him long enough, I thought, you know, if she got a little weak late, and I know my filly, she's, she gets stronger as we go. So if I could stay with him long enough, she'd give him a good run anyway. Type of filly that you feel she's just, you know, with each start is just going to get better and better? Well, my fingers are crossed. Yeah, well, she, you could have a fun season with her, right? I mean, she's paid into the Champlain Peace Oasis and big events. Yeah, well, you know, I hope she stays good and uh, we'll keep going. All right, well, you did a nice job with her. Well done. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate it. All right, Chris Christophe, Danny Fontaine. It's a Gaetan Bono homebred, intense justice. Now a 156-4 and four winner.